Hello and welcome to Project 5P. Blessings to you. I'm going to show you today uh, a homemade fire starter and show you how well this bad boy works. Um, now, this fire starter, you can probably see that it's wrapped in um, probably junk mail or newspaper or something. This is literally been sitting for about two years. Um, the ground is wet. It's been raining uh, recently for the last couple days. It's about, I don't know, 40 degrees out right now. So not optimal um, conditions to start a fire. Obviously not the worst, but um, all those things combined should speak volumes for how well this works. I'm expecting this to burn um, for about 20 minutes. Uh, just alone now the purpose of this is number one very inexpensive very easy to make this probably costs maybe a nickel to make and maybe a minute to make maybe um, and I'll do a video on how to actually make them but I want to show because this is going to take some time to show how long this burns up might it might even time lapse it but um, very good for a fire starter to have in your bag for camping bug out bag, whatever it is uh, have this in there because you can start this and without any other fuel it'll burn for probably 20 plus minutes and that gives you time to uh, collect other fuel sources tinder etc or add it to that and you know you're gonna have um, even if you have to go find more tinder uh, you're gonna have a fire going for a little bit for a fire starter much less expensive than obviously store-bought very easy to make and super inexpensive so I got my other phone here and we're gonna time it and see how long this bad boy burns all right and yes I'm using a lighter this is not a bushcraft video it's not a video about fire starting or anything like that um, so it's about this so we're just starting it with a lighter And I'm going to set it on this wet ground. Oh, press the start on that timer. My puppy dog back here just wants to watch the fire, apparently. Say hi. Say hi, Matt. You're a superstar. <laughs> All right. Let's see how long this will burn. So, we're at, can you see that? Five minute mark, still going strong. Not quite sure if this one's gonna last 20 minutes. We'll see, we'll move this a little further away so my phone doesn't catch on fire, but uh, we're at five, 5.30 now. All right, we're at ten minutes. Still going strong. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if this one's gonna last the full twenty, but I've been fooled by these things before. Like it, they, uh, they, they work amazingly well. The first time I ever made one, I, 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 I don't even remember where I learned the concept. But um, when I made one, I was like, yeah, it's not going to last 20 minutes. There's no way. There's not enough fuel source there. Um, and it just kept going and going. I would come back and check it. And I was timing it. And just when I thought it was about to die out, I would stand there. You know, I want to watch so I can time it, see exactly when it dies out so I can see how long it lasted. And I'm standing there, sitting there, waiting for the thing to die. And it just keeps going. So it's a pretty amazing thing. Um, we're at... Uh, now 11 minutes still going strong 
I'm going to go do another chore and come back. See what I mean? Still going. And we're at... Fifteen minutes. It looks like it's gonna last the twenty. This <laughs> it fooled me again. Um, maybe even longer than twenty. We'll see. But this is actually one of the smaller ones, actually, that I have. And like I said, it's been sitting for two years. Um, yeah, ground is wet, cold outside. You can see my breath. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but. Uh, yeah, other than it being, unless it was actively raining right now, I mean, there's, that would make the, the conditions a little worse, but definitely not optimal conditions to start a fire. But even at this point, we're almost at 16 minutes. That's plenty of time to uh, give you uh, time to add other tinder and um, fuel sources to, you know, get your fire going. But we're going to see, I don't know if you can see that, yeah, you can still see it. Um, I'll zoom in maybe as it gets even lower, but it's going, it's going just fine. We're at 1620 right now. I'm going to go finish my tour and come back in a couple more minutes. All right, we're at just about 20 minutes. And 10, 9, 8, 10, 6. <sighs> 20 minutes. And, I mean, it's still going. You still got time there. There's still a flame there. Um, I'm going to, but you get the idea, right? You get the idea. Excellent fire starter. Again, maybe, maybe five cents, seven cents, eight cents maybe to make and a minute of your time. Uh, we make um, bags of them at a time to have on hand. Um, but I'm going to excuse the bumpy transition. I'm going to take you off this tripod, but I don't want to cut and edit the video because... Um, I want to show that there's no cuts and so hold on a second and you can see there's still substantial fire going on. So I'm going to keep the camera on, excuse this transition again. Well, I tried to do it <laughs> as one transition, putting the phone back on the, on the tripod, uh, but I accidentally pressed the button to stop it. But you can probably still see it. It's, we're at 22 minutes now. And you could still add tin to this. So, uh, I'll make another video showing you guys uh, exactly how to make these. Um, that's it for now. Blessings. Peace. Get after it.